Hello my soccer universe! I have been working hard last year and I got some appreciation for that in the form of a really nice bonus uh, payment and while most of it went straight into savings for some other projects my wonderful wife said you know I know you've been looking at a few shirts you know go buy a few go crazy but not too crazy and yeah I went crazy on a few sites. This is one of these. I went on vintage football area where I literally had a bunch of shirts uh, that I really wanted, wanted, wanted to have and I chose four, one of which I will reveal here. And this is also part of me. Now, you know, um, as my one goal for uh, uh, this year for me is to, you know, not add so blindly. I mean, I had that i had direction but i went crazy last year with uh 80 shirts i don't want to do that so whatever i'm gonna unpack i'm gonna stress stretch out before i buy another shirt uh, at most at most i want to add 50 i want to actually stay under but in any case uh i also want to put a little bit direction on my collecting and part of that is you know i have my core leaks and i want to expand for instance my dutch my french and my portuguese uh collection you know to be able to cover a little bit in the videos and if there's an added bonus that i can make a sub collection i want to remember the 1920 lusk european season where i'm wearing now the home jersey the only time that Lusk ever wore Champions League patches in games against Club Bruges, which they both lost, but you know, it was a special occasion. And I have the other two European jerseys from that season with Europa League patches as well. And I thought, you know, if I can, I will try to add for, uh, the jerseys from the teams that they were playing against. It is a rather successful campaign where they won their group beat AZ and then were ousted just as Corona broke uh, against Manchester United, which was in any way expected. And now it is one of those group stage uh, teams that I have here. This is really a nicely nice trip down mem memory lane. Uh, in that group they played against Rosenborg, where they won at home 1-0 and I think away from home it was a 3-1. They played PSV Eindhoven with a very lucky nil-nil and then a thumping 4-1 at home. The only loss in the group stage was against uh, Sporting Lisbon, which I always said is Austria's favorite um, Portuguese team, mainly because Austrians performed typically well and last did so too. Losing a game thanks to Bruno Fernandes goal. Uh, in Lisbon, a game they never should, 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 should have lost because they were so dumb. Tom had a one day leader sporting in a few minutes, score two. And then they won the last game, albeit against a um, you know B team, they won 3 0. And it is the sporting shirt from that particular season that we'll be looking at. <laughs> I see they put all the four shirts in this one big bag. But we'll take a look at that sporting shirt uh, and then the other ones we'll do some other time because I think I, I wanna give everyone their due and their proper video. So let's take this out. As usual there are a few interesting goodies. Uh, I actually got two cards here uh, where they have classic play where they have uh, more current current players in classic shirt designs. I have Obama Young and Harry Kane interesting for sure but you know i'm not really collecting this but you know maybe maybe i'll keep them they have of course the card which you've seen before and the sporting shirt is up top so that's the first one we gonna take from this batch it is a design that in my europa league jersey review i actually and i'm still not a huge fan of it to be honest but it holds a lot of sentim sentimental value to me. This is an uh, XL for Macron, meaning it will be kind of tight. I have to say this one looks way better when the short when it's worn with the shorts that are also in this color. Then it actually it actually really really pops. What I'm not so fond of is the crest here in 
just monochromatic but i think it fits well with the shirt but i think the full color crest will, will fit as well and then there's something really interesting they had a briar shirt before but there's even in briar uh, so that uh, blind people also can read here there is the name of the club i guess uh, written on it which i think is a really really nice touch overall uh and i guess there's the founding year 1906 and yeah i mean the only thing i we can discuss the design i want to have a sporting away jersey and, and anyway if it's that one is really nice i have to say there's also the mcm vi pasted here on the, on, on 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 the back so that's nice maybe the, the one thing that's a little bit odd are those green slivers here but let's hang it up and um let's look at it a little bit from a distance as well okay i also changed the shirt <laughs> in order to have the proper matchup yes this is how it was one of the last match day where it was only for the group win and Lusk said it. and a sporting kind of gave up on it Lusk went for the group win and the three nil yes the sponsor is missing and that was which was, which was the uh, nos uh, uh logo but i have to say i actually don't mind having it this way and so i have now a sporting home jersey i have a sporting away jersey which is really really nice also with regard to the upcoming uh europa league uh videos since they play juventus i would imagine they will play in an away jersey so yeah let me know what you think about this sporting jersey. What sporting jerseys do you have in your, your collection? I, I would be interested. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel. And yes, there will be many more unpacking videos. Roughly one per week coming your way. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!